Hello friends, in this video I am going to deal with the construction and working of RF communication system. Basically RF is a wireless communication system which is used in our RC planes or you can make a RC wheelchair, quadcopter, RC car or other different thing by this. So just stay tuned. Firstly, I am going to explain you about the pin configuration of encoder IC. You can see here, these are the address line from 1 to 7, 8, 9 are connected to ground. 18th is our VCC, 17th our data out, 16th and 15th are our oscillator. 14th is our TE that will be connected to the ground and from pin 13th to 10th. These are my data input lines, means in this pins, I am going to give my data input. The which I am using is encoder that is HT12EIC. Here you can see this is the IC which I am using. The notch you can see here is the notch same thing here also. This is our left side and uh, this is the right side of the IC you can see. I am keeping it like this my left side and my right side. HT12E. Now let's come to the making of circuit on breadboard. Here you can see that I have taken the breadboard and I have shorted my lines, the upper line and the lower line. As you know that there are only five lines which are connected to each other. I am using a five volt voltage regulator. The first pin is for input, middle is ground, and third pin is output. Okay, I am going to put it on the breadboard now this is my encoder IC now I'm going to place this on my breadboard see the pin configuration I have kept it in the same way as you can see in the diagram now I'm going to connect the wires First, I will connect my 8th and 9th pin and from 1 to 7, I will keep it like this only. If you will not provide anything to the address line, it means it will take automatically high. Now I am going to place my VCC that will be coming out from my voltage regulator the third pin of voltage regulator I am going to place this wire from voltage regulator This is actually my ground, the middle pin of voltage regulator, that's a ground. I have taken the negative reference. Now I will place 750 kilo ohm resistance in between 16th and 15th pin. Means my oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. All done these are done now 14th to ground the 14th pin I will connect to ground I have connected this to ground Now my 13 to 10th pin, you can see here, 
is my data input so to take a data input uh, i can place my push button as a input this is a push button you can see here this is a four leg push button in which two are shorted to each other and these two are shorted and but these two are not shorted to each other so i will keep it accordingly see here in the same manner i will place all the four push buttons in this line these are shorted that's why i have keep it like this now we'll connect one wire from my data input line to one leg of the push button in same manner i will connect all my push button now we'll connect the wires to my plus vcc which will be acting as an input when i will press my button it will provide plus vcc volt to the ic which will act as a data you can see that this is my plus vcc reference now i'll be explaining you about my transmitter this is my transmitter with 434 megahertz frequency there are four pins in that first is ground second is data then vcc and then antenna you can see that my data out will be connected to the second means my data of transmitter means 17 pin of encoder will be connected to the second pin of my transmitter This is how our transmitter looks like. There is a crystal on that. At the back, you can see four pins: ground, data, VCC, antenna. Now I'll be placing it on breadboard. The red wire, which you can see here, is my data out. I'll be connecting it. to the data of my transmitter now i have connected this wire after that i will connect the ground wire then my vcc wire see i connected all the wires here now this is my antenna you can see so i'll be placing it in the fourth pin of my transmitter because that is for antenna only you can take the height of antenna according to your need but the general height for this transmitter is around 17 cm so i have rounded it to make it short now my transmitter circuit is completed